In this video, we're going to show you how to create a simple MACD strategy within the FX Pro Quant tool. Our strategy is going to create a buy order when the MACD line here crosses zero from below with the appropriate risk parameters, stop loss and take profit around that order. We're then going to create a sell order when the MACD line crosses zero from above, again with the appropriate risk parameters around that order. To do that we give our strategy a name, a quick comments and we press create new. We're now in the main FX Pro Quant workspace area. We go to indicators, scroll down to MACD and drag and drop that to our workspace area here. Remember we were looking at MACD and opening a trade when it crossed above zero from below. So we need to do a comparison. Let's go to logic, find compare and drag it over. Now we need to link these two nodes. So to do that we grab this outer circle here and drag and drop it onto the compare node. When you do that, you'll get value 1 and value 2, because we're comparing two things, aren't we? Click on value 1, it defaults back to the MACD here, which is great. The default value here is, as we want, greater than or equal to, and value 2 is 0, which is also the default value and what we require. So that's great. What we need to do now is tell what to do when that happens. We need to open a position. Let's go down to Trade, take the Open Position node, drag and drop it over to here. As before we need to link these two nodes so drag from that outer circle and drop it onto the open position node. This links back to the trigger so what's going to trigger this node here and it's going to be the compare function. If no orders we need to set to true that checks if there's any open orders already from this trigger and if there aren't then it will go ahead. The default is buy. We set lots to point 0.1. And these other parameters you should do in line with your account balance, leverage and risk strategy etc. So at the moment we're just going to throw in some notional values so stop loss we're set at 100. That's 100 ticks so on euro dollar equivalent to 10 pips and let's just do 200 here. Again these are just values we're putting in for the sake of our example. Final thing to do is just double click on open position and rename to buy so it's clear what's happening. When it goes below zero we need to do the opposite so we need to have another node, open position node, drag and drop over to here. Again let's drag from that outer circle on compare and link to the open position node. Again if you look back the trigger is compare. We gain is same as before we set if no orders to true. We need to change the side to sell. And then the lots we do the same 0 0.1 and we're set our stop loss and take profit to the same as before. Two more things to do. Let's click on this line here and what you want to do is say reverse the output to true. So that does the opposite. So if we don't go down this line because that condition isn't true, we then go down this line. So we do the opposite if the reverse is true. And that sends us down there to a cell. So we rename this to cell just to make it clear. And that's our simple strategy completed. We just need to save by clicking the save button here. And then click close to close the visual builder.